Praise God, praise God. I told you guys that, um, you know, God has given commissioned me. I have to do a couple of these lives tonight. But praise God, praise God. Um, whew, I told you, it, it's, it's really on me, but God is so good. I, I, I give him all the glory in the name of Jesus. All the glory, all the glory, all the glory, all the glory, all the glory. Hallelujah. Well, if you are watching, then you know that my title is, God says that the church... Well, actually, you are at a crossroad. You're at a crossroad. And the crossroad is, God says, will you serve him or Satan? Because a lot of you don't understand. Just because you're in the church don't mean you're serving God. Come on, somebody. Just because you're on the usher team don't mean you're serving God. Oh, come on, somebody. Just because you're the pastor don't mean you're serving God. Oh, come on, somebody. Just because you're the apostle of the church don't mean you're serving God. Come on, somebody. Just because you're the prophet of the building don't mean that you're serving God. Come on, somebody. Because God says that both of y'all, let me tell you something. God said most of y'all are tweaking it. What is tweaking it? Y'all go in between. You're in and out. One day you're a prophet. The next day you you in the bed with sister. Uh, 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 uh our brother Joe. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. God say that you've been biased between the two for so long. He said, not what you're going to do. Who you're going to serve. He said, because the line is being drawn. He said, but some of you, you know, you you, you think because the church don't know, but what you don't understand is that God know he, he's under the cover. Come on somebody. He told me to tell you under the cover. He see you. You know, because he, he's neither a man that he sleeps or slumbers. Oh, come on somebody. Hallelujah. I'm just telling you what God say. He said, he see all those little wicked deeds. He said, he see all in your heart. He see all in your house. Oh, come on somebody. He said that y'all playing with him. He said most people are playing with me. Yes, in front of people is hallelujah, hallelujah, and you're speaking in tongues, but behind closed doors, you're doing what you do when you do what you're doing. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah, and not to speak about most of you leaders that's gay. Oh, come on, somebody that go both ways because most of you are bisexual, and some of you are just, oh, y'all just sexual. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm not being judgment. I'm just telling you what does say the Lord. God say you are at the crossroads. He's giving you a chance. Come on, somebody, he's giving you a chance to repent. And turn from your wicked ways, he says. But no, some of you, you still want to play. You remind me of Samson playing with Delilah. You didn't understand. Everything is in words. Everything is in names. Everything is in numbers. Delilah. She was a lie in her name. And uh, about her name. Come on, somebody. Jacob was, you remember when Jacob before, what he was a deceiver. That's why God changed his name to Israel. Oh, come on, somebody. So everything is in a name. Come on, somebody. You wonder why people calling your names. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But you remind me of Samson. Because Samson kept playing with Delilah. Every time he looked, he was playing with Delilah. Oh, come on, somebody. And that he didn't even know that God had left him. You didn't hear what I said. He didn't know that God had left him. God said, a lot of you leaders, you don't even know that God have left you. That's why you do what you do, because you still think God is with you. And God said he has left you. Samson did not know that God had left him until God had to show Samson that he had left him. And what happened? He told the enemy all his heart. That's what's wrong with you. That's why some things are happening in your life. Because you're sleeping with the enemy and you tell the enemy your secrets that God told you not to tell. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So when what he did, he told her, he said, my strength is in my hand. She had been asking him. I couldn't understand it because every time she asked him, the Philistines would come. So I could understand what was over Samson that he couldn't see that this woman wanted to kill him. Come on, somebody. What was over him? Oh, come on, somebody. I'm about to tell you what was over him. Whenever your person of God attaches them something that is not of God, then that spirit that's on that person overtake the person of God because you're on. Come on, somebody. You see, you don't understand why some people get cut off in sin and they're in the church. That's because here's the deal. When you're in sin, you go out outside the boundaries of the perimeter of God's. That's that way. The, the devil have permission he has permission to mess with you. He has permission because guess what? You have left out of the safety of God. Oh, come on, somebody. Just because you're anointed don't mean you can't get hurt. Just because you're anointed don't mean you can't die. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. You got to understand that there are spiritual rules, spiritual laws. So Samson kept messing with Delilah, messing with Delilah until finally she wore him down. She wore him down. And guess what? The Bible said he, tell, he told her her heart. He told her, my strength is in my hand. She calling the Philistines and he thinking, oh, I'm, I'll just shake free. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Say it with me. I'll just shake free. And you're still thinking you're going to shake free. But this time, God say, not today. You don't hear what I'm saying? God say, not today, Samson. I'm not with you. You got yourself in that mess. But you won't need me to get it out. Come on, somebody. And that's what's going on. Some of you are in a mess right now. And now God got to get you out of that mess. Come on, somebody. But well, just walk with me. Let me continue this story. So what happened with the day they mocked him? They God started his eyes. <laughs> and, and it was just terrible for Samson. Really, you need to read the rest of yourself because that's what's wrong too. Y'all unlearn. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So when they had, I guess they had some kind of um, thing going on. You know, they always did. I, I think it was like maybe a gladiator thing or whatever. Uh, party. They always do. Like Sodom and Gomorrah. As a matter of fact, y'all like the party too. This America, Sodom and Gomorrah. So on that, that last time, he asked his servant. 
he said, just take my hands and put it toward the pillars. And he asked, he said, God, I repent. He went on and repented like some of you need to do. He repented. And then after he repented, he said, God, let me kill more than I ever killed in my life. Let me kill more than them. He said, but let me die too. Now, why did Samson ask to die? I could never understand that part. So I went into the Greek Hebrew and I'm going to tell you why. Samson knew two things. He wasn't going to be like he used to be. Ooh, I knew he was going to make me say it, Lord. I knew he was going to make me say it. Mm -mm -mm. I didn't see this one coming. And I'm not trying to condemn somebody. So don't don't start writing nothing on my wall because I'll block you and delete you and ban you. All three at the same time. I'm not even playing. So let me tell you something. There are certain leaders that were up here. I ain't even going to say no names because some of y'all silly. But there were certain, some, certain people that was up here that was anointed. And all of a sudden. Then they're not that annoying no more, huh? You feel it. You see, it. that's what it happened to Samson. You see, let me explain that because I, I need to be clear. I need to clarify because some of you, you take things and you run with it. So I want, I want to really break that thing down. When you have a heavy anointing over your life, that's why I go through. They will send people. The devil will send people. That's the ultimate one that's doing it to steal, kill, and destroy. How can I get to them? How can I tank them? How can I make them lose their anointing? How can I? Because then there'll be no good for the kingdom of God. You don't understand. This is what he says about you. If you don't believe me, he asked Job. He said, "Have you considered my?" And then sometimes God will put you in there because God say, "Have you considered my servant Job?" Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. So there's always a testing, and that's what people don't understand. You're always being tested. People come on somebody passed the test, and so he, he, and so he, here's the thing. So they go and, and they fail the test. And then God, now, everybody has an anointing. Everybody is ministers of God. Everybody. Believe the, even the ones that you don't think, they're ministers of God. But there are some people that have a heavy anointing. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So when they come with a heavy anointing and they have not followed the, the instructions of God, because well, just because you have to have anointing, don't mean you can't lose it. You have to stay communing with God. You have to stay doing the things that God do. What happens is they get so prompted come on somebody and that's what's happening they get so prideful they think they're doing it and so god say uh -uh, you know what i'm gonna give them over to the reprobate mind and that's how most leaders use lose their anointing because they they keep flying high and they keep forgetting wait a minute i didn't put myself up here come on somebody hallelujah as the as you go high you got to stay connected to god because the enemy is always looking for ways to bring you down now i'm telling you the truth come on somebody up in here always i'm mean, he ain't gonna never stop I'm, come on somebody that's just what we in we are in a spiritual war but let me go ahead and finish telling you so what happened with samson is he thought well god is gonna always be with me god, god showed him that day huh god showing some of y'all not today y'all don't hear what i'm saying that's why it's important if you're gonna be with god be with god if you're not gonna be with god just do what you do because you come Playing with God, talking about, well, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. God will expose you sooner or later. You will get exposed. And everybody going to know it and you're going to lose your anointing. And that's what happened with Samson. So Samson felt like, I don't want to live no more because I'm not going to be the man I used to be. I can't even see. And he knew that. And that's why some of y'all don't have no anointing like you used to have. I get written sometimes and I'm not going to say no names. Some of you say, well, I used to hear God. I used to do this. The thing I want to ask you is what you stop doing. Because let me tell you something, from 1996 to this day, and I'm not lying, I hear God 24-7, and I'm not trying to be arrogant, I'm not trying to show off or all that, but let me tell you something, I've done what I did since 1996, I get in that Bible, I mean, I study, everybody could tell you, everybody that know me from Sacramento to Atlanta to wherever I've been, they know I know that word, that's why they don't come against me, come on somebody, they know I know that word because I have set to that table, and I, I, I'm talking about I've seen myself with two jobs and still get in that word four or five hours a day, you don't hear what I'm saying, I have studied to show myself approved, but let's go deep. But then I'll wake up at 2 o'clock and, and stay up to what 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, just talking to God, praising God, loving on God. That's the secret. I never stopped doing what I did in 1996. That's how some of y'all lose your anointing, and that's how some of your backslid. You stop doing what you used to do. I know I got to stay stay connected to God because the higher I go, they, they coming. They coming. They coming. They're going to send people, and I can't give you like, oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. Yeah, you might get tired, but they don't never get tired. The kingdom of darkness don't never get tired, so you can't get tired, and that's why you got to stay connected to God. But most of you, you get high, and you start getting a little somewhere, and people start thinking you're some, and you start thinking you're some, and then you... you you know, and that's what's wrong with most of the leaders today. I'm sorry, don't get mad, but it's the truth. If you look at most of the leaders, yes, they still have a heaven on because they've been doing it 20, 30, 40 years. So really, they can just shoot from the hip. But think about the anointing that they had back then because they was doing what they used to do. But no, now they get all high and mighty. And to be honest with you, that's why some of y'all falling because y'all see like a glamorous like, oh, they're just flying all over the world. They're taking vacations. They're going on cruises. They're doing all this. Let me tell you something. A real soldier of God. Yeah, we vacation. Yeah, right. Let me tell you something I call my 
myself on vacation. God said, what vacation? <laughs> you didn't hear what I said. I, I called myself on vacation. God said, what vacation? We don't take vacations. I said, okay. He said, look in that Bible. Did Jesus take a vacation? I said, Jesus didn't, Lord. I said, I stand to be corrected. Hallelujah. We have a church that don't want to labor. We have a church that don't want to sacrifice. We have a church that don't want to work for God. We have a church that just want to act like a Hollywood superstar. And that's what, yeah, I said, that's what most of y'all famous pastors are. You can get mad. I don't care what y'all say because y'all been talking about me. Y'all are still talking about me. It don't matter. Superstar. And, and let me tell you something. Those posters, those flyers, it tells it all. Look how y'all be on there. You are, you are a model or a pastor or a prophet or a bishop. Who are you? And I'm not saying you can't look good. But uh, excuse me, it's about souls. It's about souls. It's about souls. And that's why most people, they don't even know who to believe. Y'all have messed up the prophetic office so bad, Brian, Prophet Brian Corn. But y'all know he ain't right and y'all still gird him. That's a sin against God, by the way, in case you think it's a game. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Read your Bible. Y'all gird people that y'all know is not of God. Instead of tell them, get yourself together. But the blood going to be on y'all hands because guess what? Anytime you gird people that you know is doing wrong, you are just as guilty. And if you don't believe that, read your Bible. God said, how long will you wait for between two? How long? How long? Because some of you, you like what you do. Oh, yes, you do. You know what I'm saying. You like what you do. Oh, come on, somebody. But on that day, what you going to do? Let me pose a question. If God came tonight, what would you do? Or would you start making a biscuit? Well, you know, God, I was going to. Well, you know, God, it's not my fault. It's brother so and so. Well, the pastor wouldn't let me. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. So much is going on. It's too much. Don't you know the enemy have came in and, and just ripped up the church? Y'all can't see that? Y'all cannot see that? The prosperity message did it. And then not everybody want to be prosperous. And I'm not saying God don't want you to have nothing. But if it take you away from God, then it ain't God. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And God did not assign you to fly all over the world. And I'm going to say something, and, 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 and y'all going to catch the hint. Then you have some of the famous ones. Prophets. Or they write books about being prophet. Oh, yeah. Y'all going gonna to catch it. I know you're going to catch it. Catch it. Please catch it. I'm wondering one thing. How is it that you're so powerful? And you go around all the world activating people. But ain't nobody got no power. Mm, did I do that? Yeah, I did. How is it? I, I, I'm, I'm not hating. I, I, just, I, I just don't see. I just want to know. How is it that you activate the people all over the world, but ain't nobody got no power to cast out demons? Who you activating? What you activating? Oh, yes, I'm on one, huh? And I'm just being real. I don't hate nobody. I love everybody, but I'm, I'm real with it. I don't come with that little chucking and jive and stuff. I don't do all that. Is it God or it's not God? Period in the story. White or gray? Black or white? What's up? We have a church that don't have no power. What's up? We have more money than we ever had. What's up? We have, we, we have best singers in the world. What's up? How come people not getting healed and delivered then? Hello, something wrong? Because it's tainted, God says. It's tainted worship. It's tainted worship. And y'all still got them gays. Yes, I'm saying it. I, I love everybody. But y'all still got sing, the gays singing worship and polluting the air. Don't you know when you are in sin? When you are in sin, everything that speaks out of you is a spirit. So if you're lusting, that means everybody. If you're playing um, pornography or if you're smoking, don't get the drift. Just tainting everybody. And then you wonder why you got a, a, a house full of mess, pastor, preacher, apostle, bishop. Because you a mess. The anointing comes from the, the head up, head down. Mm, I'm sorry. I'm, hey, I'm just a messenger. <laughs> and I ain't worried about if you believe me. That's not my job. My job is just to deliver the message. And his job is to do the rest. How you doing? Like I said, God say, who are you serving so I'm done. I, I just stick to the script. I love you guys. I love you enough to tell you the truth. Because somebody told me the truth. And it's constructive criticism. Y'all love God so much. How can you love God but don't want to obey him? He said, those that love me keep my commandments. Wait a minute. Is that scripture, Deanna? Yes, it is. Those that love me will keep my commandments. So somebody lying. Who lying? Who lying? Because it ain't God. Hmm. Alrighty, then I think I have delivered this message that God said. And yes, get ready because I got two more. I'm not, uh, nobody playing. People dying.
spiritually and physically and God is not pleased Whew. so I love you guys God bless you it's always love at the end I'm not trying to bash nobody hate nobody just telling you the truth telling you the truth before God hallelujah so God bless you I love you all roll out soldiers <laughs>